Hi everybody, welcome back to Home Life 365. I wanted to talk to you for a minute today about managing stress and anxiety. I think we all feel like, I think a lot of us feel like the world has gone crazy lately and that up is down and left is right and everything's just out of whack. And I think it's creating a lot of stress and anxiety for a lot of people at much higher levels than what we've been accustomed to seeing in the past. So I think it's important that we make a concerted effort to try to manage the stress and anxiety that we're feeling and not let it take hold if we can help it. So I wanna start with saying I'm not a doctor, I've never played one on TV, and this is not medical advice. This is just my opinion and things that have worked for me in the past that I wanted to share with other people. Just as a reminder, I know most of this stuff people probably already know, but just as a reminder that these are things we need to be focused on. So the first thing I will say is there are a lot of hidden dangers with stress if you're not dealing with it. And stress can cause anxiety, anxiety attacks. It can cause sleep disruptions, it can cause weight loss, weight gain, it can cause hair loss, it can cause skin problems, it can cause high blood pressure, and it can contribute to heart disease. So it's important that we find ways to deal with stress and try to nip it in the bud as early as possible. So the tips that I want to go through, there's just a few, and the first one and the most important one in my opinion, also the simplest one, is breathe. A lot of times when you're feeling high levels of stress, your breathing will become shallow, your heart rate will increase, and you need to offset that as quickly as possible if you can. So if you can just take a two minute break, if you're at work and you start feeling this way, just go to the restroom Hopefully people are not bothering you in the restroom and you can have two minutes to yourself to just focus on breathing. Just deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Try to regulate and stop the shallow breathing and slow the heart rate. I find that very helpful in high stress situations and the legendary Pat Summit used to say, left foot, right foot, breathe. And I couldn't agree more. That's the way we have to do it sometimes. Just left foot, right foot, breathe. But don't forget to breathe. My next recommendation is exercise. I know that's a bad word. I don't like hearing that word. Um, but when I say exercise, it doesn't have to be vigorous exercise. If you go to the gym, if that's part of what you do, then by all means, go to the gym and work out and work out hard. Work out all the tension and all the frustration that you can. Just let it escape you. If you're not a vigorous exerciser, just take a walk. Um, my next tip is, is to get outside into the sun. And just going outside and taking a walk for 15 minutes could make a huge difference in your stress level. I will say that during that time, please don't take your phone or your iPad, don't have your earbuds in, don't be listening to the news, don't be listening to YouTube videos. Don't, if you have to listen to something, put on one of your favorite playlists and just listen to music. But better yet, invite a friend. Invite someone with you who you have a great relationship with, who you make each other laugh, who you have fun with, invite them to walk with you. Just go for a walk, just talk, just laugh. Laughter truly is a great medicine. And if you're laughing, you're not worrying. There's no stress level during the times when you're laughing. So just take a few minutes to do that. If they can't join you, call them on the phone and talk to them on the phone while you're walking and just laugh and enjoy your time. My next one is to have fun. Don't forget to meet with the friends or call up the friends who make you laugh. Uh, put on a 30 minute sitcom, a silly something that you've enjoyed watching in the past that you find humorous. Just watch it. There's, there's no shame in taking an hour, half hour or an hour 
a day or one evening a week to take care of yourself and your own health. Right now, there's a time we are working hard. We are trying to stock pantries. We're trying to plant gardens. We're trying to cover labor shortages at work. We're doing a whole lot of stuff that causes a lot of stress, but you have to make sure you have time to offset those things. You have to take care of yourself. So have fun. One evening a week, watch a comedy movie. You know, the stupid, comedies that <laughs> most of us truly don't even like but they do get us tickled find something find something that will help make you laugh something that will help you relax and take a little time to do that my next one is get out in the sun we all know how important vitamin d is it's important to get out in the sun it's important to breathe fresh air it's important to have the sun wash over us. If you're cooped up in an office nine or 10 hours a day, don't forget to get outside. Um, get up 15 minutes earlier for work and sit out on the porch for five minutes and have a few sips of coffee before you go to work. It could make a huge difference in your day. And I think that's very much been lost over the years. I think um, years ago, Sundays were, you know, after church, you sit on the porch and you drink iced tea or you drink lemonade, or at least here in the South, that's what, it, what was going on on Sundays. And that passed. Those days passed. And now there's so much work to be done that people aren't taking time to sit on the porch and drink a glass of tea or a glass of lemonade or talk to the neighbors or talk to their family. So I think it's very important that you just take a few minutes, get outside, take a walk, get outside, and just sit for a few minutes. It could really, really lower your stress level in my opinion. Another recommendation I have is if you're not a single person, if you, if you have a spouse and children and or children or um, parents at your house that you're taking care of or something, I think sitting down to dinner every evening with your family can make a big difference. And several years ago, I made the rule that there's no phones, no phones at the dinner table. It really aggravates me to see people in restaurants even and their heads are down and they're texting or they're looking stuff up or they're watching YouTube videos. And they're not even having a conversation with the people they're with. They're there with. If you can have family dinner every night, even if you sit in silence and nobody talks, it's family time. It's time together. It's time disconnected. It may only be 15 minutes that you're at the dinner table. But it is time that you're disconnected from the other things that are causing you stress. So sit down with your family and eat dinner and don't allow phones at the tables, at the table. Don't allow a TV in the dining room. Sit with one another. And if you don't have anything to discuss, sit in silence. Eventually somebody will find something to talk about. The next item I have on my list Yes, I'm working from a list because I couldn't remember all of this, is sleep. And the importance of sleep, we all know it's, it's so, so important. I think the most important thing about sleep is that you get yourself on a schedule. I think you, during times of high stress, high anxiety, I think it's very important that you set a, a schedule and you stick to it. If you know that 10 or 10.30 is bedtime, be sure to go to bed at 10 or 10.30. If get up time is, wake up time is 5.30 or 6 o'clock, whatever time you need to wake up, wake up, set your alarm. And even on Saturday and Sunday, or even on your days off work, stay on your schedule. Wake up at the same time and go to sleep at the same time because it's easy to train your body, but you have to do that. If you're 
staying, you know, going to bed at 9.30 tonight and 1 a.m. tomorrow and 12 o'clock the next night and 2 a.m. the next day, your body never regulates to when you want it to sleep. So I think reducing stress levels, it's so important to get sleep and it's so important to get this sleep schedule and stay on it. Make sure your body knows what you're expecting of it. Make sure that you're getting the number of hours that you need. Most of us can't function on four or five hours of sleep. We need eight or nine hours, especially during high stress, high anxiety times in our lives. We have to give our body a chance to recuperate from those things. So sleep is so, so important. And the last thing I will mention is diet. And I don't mean go on a diet and restrict your calories. <laughs> That's not what I mean at all. I just mean that the importance of a healthy diet is so important during high stress and high anxiety times. I am a stress eater. I know that I'm a stress eater. And I know that when I'm feeling a lot of stress, the first thing that I'm going to reach for is something salty and something crunchy. That's gonna, I'm going to grab potato chips. I'm going to grab pretzels. I'm going to grab something that I should not be eating excessively. And I know that's what I reach for. So to offset that, maybe I will fix a sandwich and a salad and have some chips. That way I'm full, so I'm not excessively eating potato chips that I shouldn't be eating, but I'm not depriving myself of having them. I have them, but I have them in moderation. I know some people are stress eaters and their, their food of choice, drug of choice, whatever you want to call it, is um, chocolate or sugar. And same thing, have it, have it in moderation but be sure that you are fueling your body with the things you need. Have a salad, have a chicken breast, have some vegetables, have something, then have your chocolate, have your cookie or whatever your choice of drug in this case might be. But have it in moderation. Don't eat a whole pack of chocolate chip cookies. Just eat a couple of chocolate chip cookies. And like I said, I will try to eat a handful of potato chips and not eat the whole extra large family size bag of Lay's because <laughs> there are times that's what I could do. So diet is important. So those are my tips for today for dealing with stress and anxiety. Like I said, I know it seems like right now everybody is so caught up in everything. It seems like there's a lot of craziness. I think there's a lot of division. I think there's a lot of things happening that we see. And, and some of the things make us feel like we may be going crazy. Uh, we feel like people are telling us that everything's wrong. Everything we've ever known is wrong. And it's creating a lot of stress for a lot of people. I also know that we have workforce issues right now. We have labor shortages. Everywhere you look, there are labor shortages and that creates stress. It's creating a lot of stress for a lot of people that we're having to pick up workloads that previously we didn't have that we had people filling these other positions and they could we were the work was divvied up and now all of a sudden uh, many of us are doing the jobs of two or three people and trying to keep up and it's stressful and it can't be done we have to let some things go but i i do think we've reached a point where it's just super important that people start focusing on taking care of themselves and reducing their stress and anxiety and managing these feelings the best that they can to avoid the manifestations that come along with the stress and anxiety. Uh, you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else. You hear it all the time, you know, on the airplane they tell you if the mask drops, put your own mask on first before you attempt to put anyone else's on. You have to take care of yourself or you can't save someone else. So I just wanna add that if you are struggling with 
inflation. If you're feeling stress over the possibility of food shortages or food insecurity, um, I will say again, the most important thing in my opinion you can do is stock your pantry the best you can. And if that's one of your concerns, I have a video that has shopping lists and budgets, budgets as low as $2.50 a week to help you stock your pantry. And I will link that video right up here or right over here or right over here. I'll link it somewhere. <laughs> so go watch that video. I hope it helps. And please take care of yourself.